Believing in each and every one of them is obligatory. As is believing in everything given to them by Allah. Furthermore, it is obligatory to love, honor, and revere them. These obligations are upon us in the highest and most complete manner, specifically when it comes to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So I say to you, as it's not acceptable for us to say about an idol worshiper that he's a Muhammadi, because he rejected the message of Muhammad, and so we name him based on what he rejected, degrading the name of the man who forbade them from idol worship. As that's clearly not allowed, we could not and we should not call people who commit the act of homosexuality what? Luti. Why? Because the name of a prophet is involved. And why would you make that ya al nisbah to the name of a prophet? Lut was not a homosexual, was not a man of vice or foul behavior. Rather, he was a prophet from Allah Ta'ala of the highest standards. So why come along and say about someone who commits an act of homosexuality that he is a luti? It would be the same as calling an idol worshiper a Muhammadi. Not allowed, right? So refrain from that. And this use which has crept into the books of fiqh, referring to the act of homosexuality as liwaq, and the one who does it as a luti, and so on, connecting it to the name of the Prophet who forbade them from it, has led to the situation that we're in today. Raise your hand if you know someone who has named his son Lut. People don't name their children Lut anymore. Because there's now some negative stigma. So there is a negative stigma that has very likely come about as a result of the usage of the word Luti. Because I think if you saw a, a Muslim come in the masjid, he said, Assalamu alaikum, nice to meet you, my name is Lut. You would feel something's not right with that name. Would you not? There's some attachment, some negativity attached to that name. لا ينبغي, and it's not allowed to get like that. Because why? We are, as the Shaykh said, we are required to have the names of the Prophets highly revered in our hearts. And may Allah Ta'ala bless the Muslim who names his son Lut and tries to bring back the, you know, the, the good image, the good name that goes along with the name of a Prophet. Similarly, that the scholars have mentioned today is naming the Jewish state, what? Israel. Israel was who? Prophet Ya'qub. A name that in the Quran is Bani Israel, the tribes or children of Israel, Ya'qub, the Prophet. A name that we must love and respect. And I've mentioned to some Muslims that it's required on every Muslim to love Israel. And initially, without having an introduction to the topic, a lot of the Arabs, almost all of the Arabs today, except those who are paying attention to the words of the scholars, they would say, A'udhu Billah. If I said, no, I'm absolutely sure we are required by our religion to believe in, to love, to honor, to respect Israel. A'udhu Billah. Refuge with Allah. Is no. You should be saying, Haq, that's true, because that's Ya'qub. That's a prophet from Allah Ta'ala and we love and respect, revere our prophets, their names and all of that. And in reference to the Yahud, you call them Al-Yahud. You don't call them Israel. You call their Dawla, you call their state or their country Dawla Al-Yahud, the state of the Jews or whatever name you wish, but not the name of a prophet of Allah Ta'ala. Uh, there was a question over here. And we have to close up within a minute or so. Qawm Lut. Aywa. The word Qawm Lut is not the same as Lut. The people of Lut, they are criminals. Right? The people of Lut are criminals with criminal behavior. And in fact, the scholars who have mentioned this, the issue of the word Luti, they have said replace the, the crime of Liwat. The word Liwat with a larger phrase, Amalu Amali Qawmilut. Right? Doing the deeds, or Amalu Qawmilut. The deeds of the people of Lut. 
and you attribute the filth to the people of Lut. Right? And it doesn't have any ascription directly to him. Except that those were his people. And to call them his people, meaning those he was responsible for calling, is no offense and nothing of harm or injury to a prophet and messenger. Let me read through the...